Welcome back foodies to another episode of Foodie Tube. So if you haven't read the description or the title by now, in this episode we are making crab cake sliders. Now crab cake with that biscuit baby is about to be magic. We're gonna get into it before we do. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notifications button. And that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. AJK. So I'm gonna start off my recipe by chopping up some of my veggies. I have a red and a green bell pepper here. I'm only gonna use half of one um, or half of both. And then I have a sweet onion, which I'm only gonna use one fourth of. You can also use red onions. They go really well with this recipe. I just chose sweet because I'm gonna have some spicy components and I think they'll balance really well. So then I'm gonna throw in some butter and let it melt down. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic. There we go one teaspoon of garlic and then the red veggies that i just cut up and then i'm basically gonna just let those sweat out and kind of let those uh flavors settle into each other so now i'm gonna crack some eggs i'm only gonna use the yolks but if you know you're not going to use the egg whites for another time, just go ahead and throw them in the bowl. You don't want to waste any food, but I'm only using the yolks. I'm going to whip those up. And I'm going to just do a little design of the mustard. I would say that's about a teaspoon, but, you know, I just eyeballed it. And then you can use mayo, but I have Miracle Whip on hand, so I'm going to use Miracle Whip. And I only use, like, a quarter cup of that, and it should come out, like, really silky like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and whisk and add my vegetables and butter. And I'm basically just going to do like a emulsifying process where I'm trying to stir these in um, so they're like well blended. Now I have a tablespoon of hot sauce here, Frank's Red Hot, um, some Worcestershire, whatever, Worcestershire sauce and i just eyeballed that and then i complimented it with some lemon juice and about a half a, a teaspoon of salt and then a teaspoon of pepper i'm going to be having a lot of other salty things in here i'm going too fast so i only use a half teaspoon but um this is a teaspoon of old bay throw that in there and then whisk it up just whisk it up and then i have some red lobster the red lobster seasoning you don't need this um just because i'm using the red lobster biscuits i wanted to throw it in there and i found it at family dollar or no dollar general so you know i was happy i found something so now i'm throwing in my breadcrumbs and i wanted the garlic uh breadcrumbs but they don't have that so um i just threw some garlic over there and some parsley and i mixed it all up and this is what it should look like after you do that and then I have some crab claw meat. You want to have like the lump crab, but this one is cheaper and I'm on a budget. So I'm just going to go with the cheaper version. It's all crab at the end of the day. Lump does uh, give a better appearance, but same time we're in quarantine. This is all that I found at Meijer and it's cheaper. So I'm happy. It tastes like crab, whatever. And then you're just going to mash that up. And then after, this is kind of an extra step, but you can go ahead and like make a foil tube and freeze it for like 30 minutes or an hour just so when we get to frying things, it sticks a lot better. And then uh, this part, you really don't need. You basically just read the box of the Red Lobster um, biscuits and that's it. We're not going to go over this. The only thing I did different, I add butter into my mix. And then I put a little mild cheese because it melts a little better um, in the mixture. So I use some mild and some sharp. So after um, I got my crab cakes pretty solid in the freezer, I'm about to just scoop them up and shape them out and throw them on some parchment paper. At this point, you can start getting your skillet pretty hot or heating up your oil like that so I just did a little flour test you can also pat these with some flour just so you know you're sure that they are sticky but it's not completely necessary 
So yeah, just dip them in there. And you're just gonna have them on both sides for about, I'm gonna say five minutes. Um, but you know, everybody's different. Everybody's uh, stove top cooks differently. It's just like a, you know when you know type of thing. So these are my smaller sliders. I made some small ones and some bigger ones. Um, they were in there probably like two, three minutes both sides. My bigger ones would probably take like five minutes both sides. And this is the assembly of everything I just did. Oh, just to go back, I did put these in the oven for like three minutes. Yep, so yep, just um, get your biscuit, butter it both sides, throw that cake in there, slap it together, and that's it.